Is the native cryptocurrency of Stacks called STX going to the price of $50 during this bull run insane? Is that crazy? Well, to some people, maybe. But to me, it's not because I believe it could hypothetically happen during this bull run. And now, of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee. But if you take a look at Stacks at its core, it's actually a very amazing project. You know, it's a Bitcoin layer too. Now, what this does is that it allows builders to leverage Bitcoin and potentially even create new use cases for Bitcoin as well. That's very amazing. Now, to some people who may think that this is kind of caca, let me break this down because some people may think, right, okay, why even leverage Bitcoin? What's so special about it? Now, here's the thing. First of all, Bitcoin, you know, it has widespread adoption. Everyone knows Bitcoin. And again, it's very well integrated in some cases in certain areas. So that's a bonus. Also, on top of that, you take a look at how Bitcoin, it's notoriously known for its rock solid security. And this is not a joke because we take a look at how Bitcoin, it's proof of work. And even if we don't take a look at Bitcoin, we take a look at other projects, for instance, that are proof of work. They are typically known as well for their amazing security. So isn't that amazing? You know, builders potentially leveraging that type of amazing qualities. You know, that's really such a game changer, in my opinion. And if you take a look at the Stacks ecosystem, we will find many projects related to NFTs and as well as DeFi, aka decentralized finance. Now, even though the hype for these two markets really isn't the greatest as of right now, I get that, but I think better days are ahead. Gotta think about this. According to Grandview Research, the NFT and DeFi market, you know, each are predicted to be worth over $200 billion by 2030. That's insane. You know, combined, that's over $400 billion. That's ridiculous. So when it comes to these markets, yeah, sure, hype may not be the best. You know, fans may not be there as of right now, at least what it once used to. But I think that once the market jumps back in again, so to speak, once it fully kicks into fifth gear, once there's a lot of people paying attention to it, guess what's going to happen? You know, projects that are focused on these markets, they're naturally, I think, going to go along with the ride, much like the projects that are on the Stacks ecosystem. So this right here could be such a big bonus for Stacks. And that's what I love about it. You know, ecosystem is doing really good. Also, use case is fantastic when it comes to Stacks. So I don't see why it's so bad. You know, a lot of people out there, they like to say, oh, it's a dinosaur, it's trash. Well, I disagree. I think better days are ahead. And I think it's a very wonderful project overall. So STX at the price of $50, is that insane? No, I don't think so. You know, take this into consideration. First of all, the Bitcoin ETF, that's so massive for Bitcoin. You take a look at the number of institutional investors for Bitcoin. You know, I think only great things are going to come from here on out when it comes to Bitcoin. And I think that as it does grow moving forward, it's only fair to assume that a layer two, much like Stacks, you know, it's going to go along with the ride. And even if we take a look at this just from a, you know, price point stand of view, let's say from a, comparing it to other projects, we take a look at how if STX were to go to the price of $50, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $74 billion. Not insane. We take a look at how Doge at one point reached over $80 billion. I mean, come on. We take a look at also at one point BNB reached over $100 billion. And I don't think BNB is better than this. I mean, really, I don't think so. You take a look at how just last year, according to Crypto.com research, slightly over 2% of the crypto hacks that happened actually occurred on the BNB smart chain ecosystem. So I don't really like that. Again, Stacks, known for its amazing fundamentals, and Bitcoin is known for its fantastic security. Again, Stacks, a Bitcoin layer two. Come on, I think that pretty much speaks for itself. If BNB can reach over 100 billion, I think STX could very well, at least hypothetically, go to around 74 billion. That's just the way I view it. Now, also take this into consideration. As of right now, there's over 600 million crypto owners, according to Crypto.com research. That's more than ever before in history. You know, this is kind of insane because if we take a look back in 2021 during the peak of that bull run, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. So now we have over 600 million. This is practically double that amount. So if everyone thought that that year the bull run was impressive, imagine this time around. You know, all the FOMO, all the buying pressure, all the buying volume. I mean, really, it could be so impressive. And also on top of that, as Bitcoin goes to the price of 100,000, 150,000, you know, altcoins are going to do so well, in my opinion, much like STX, hypothetically. And at that point, you know, $50, I don't see why not. But it's going to be a matter of time because you take a look at how usually altcoins, they don't peak like right now or in the past two months or whatever, because a lot of people, they like to comment and say, oh, wow, altcoins didn't peak two months ago. You know, they didn't peak yesterday. You know, that means altcoins are done. Crypto's done. No, I disagree because usually altcoins, they peak anywhere between a year and a half or half a year after a Bitcoin halving event. 
now or anywhere in between, I should say. But here's the thing. The reason why I know this is because I take a look back in history. A lot of people, they haven't studied this and they say that, oh yeah, altcoins are kaka. But I disagree. Because even though history doesn't always repeat itself, it tends to rhyme. So, you know, if I'm taking a look at based off of the last Bitcoin halving event, which happened back in April, that's anywhere between October this year to October next year for altcoins to peak. So is that really that much longer? No, I don't think so. Because even though I don't think it's going to happen this year, at least just my opinion, you know, even if let's say I have to wait till the end of next year, is that necessarily a bad thing? No, because a lot of people generally, they've been in the crypto space ever since 2021. So waiting a little bit over a year doesn't seem so bad. And also on top of that, if anything, it's actually more time for me to accumulate STX, which I don't think is bad. You know, if I have more time to accumulate something that I like, why not? And my strategy is very simple. It's dollar cost averaging, just acquiring any time and income, holding and just waiting. That's it. No day trading, no using leverage, no swing trading. None of that. I like to keep things simple. And again, when I consider just how impressive this forum could be, when I just take into consideration the trajectory per Bitcoin, which I think is positive, and also the amazing use case of stacks, I don't see why STX, you know, its native cryptocurrency won't hypothetically go to the price of $50 during this bull run. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Will Need the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.